The dengue epidemic has reached a critical point in Singapore. Can we go now? The number of dengue cases has reached a record high. I'm not afraid of the dengue fever. Government agencies are intensifying their efforts. <laughs> Construction sites are everywhere in Singapore. The environment presents many potential mosquito breeding habitats. Constant vigilance is critical to prevent an outbreak. I think that they are breeding at the construction sites and at the drains. In residential areas, uh, people will clean their environment and I think they will like more on construction sites. Construction sites are the usual suspects of mosquito breeding. The NEA's vector control officers are quite aware of that. What do you do with the water? Uh, huh? We use the oil. Oil, yeah, but there's no oiling. Right? No oil is in, only water. There also must oil. Ah. Some places oil, some places not oil. Do I do something? Eh? Can you remove it? No? Yeah. See, even the plastic is wet. If nobody clears, then it's going to be a problem. Every month, our routine inspection is about 114 construction sites altogether. Every construction site is required to have a control team that looks after the environmental health of the site. We had the project manager, we had the safety officer. Okay. We also have the ECO, the environmental control officer, to look after the construction site. They even have a pest control to control all these areas that breed mosquitoes. Any oiling here? Yeah, this one you know the oiling. Oiling, huh? Even with this control structure in place, NEA officers Zaki and Ben routinely inspect the sites to ensure all loose ends are tied. Make sure your uh, drain, right, all the debris you try to take out. Don't leave it like that because what I'm afraid of is the pest control when they pour oil never goes through. Why this water here? Eh? Before casting, they ah. wash. Uh, okay. So, so and after so washing, you have to remove uh, the water, right? Don't let the water stay it's here. Just yesterday. Yeah. It's very bad. Uh, no? So when can you uh, do it? As soon as possible? Yeah, sure. Yeah? As soon as possible. Uh. So when you put your safety barriers, try to ensure that the water is not collected below the water. If your safety barriers are defects, right? Just ensure there's no water inside. Zaki and Ben are strict because they need to send the right message to the construction firm. Out of the few months that we've been here, at least you all are improving as, as you all are building up, which is good. So I, I hope that you all just keep out the good work. Per month, we have four or three breedings out of the 100 oversights that we have to inspect. The construction, they are given a law to follow, but house, we don't give you a a step-by-side -side guideline in which if you don't follow any step, we will fine you. But construction site, even if they miss one part, they will be fine. There are more than 300,000 foreign construction workers in Singapore. Their accommodations are also on NEA's radar. Zaki and Ben conduct a routine inspection of one such worker's dormitory. The manager, Morgan, accompanies them. You must throw all the rubbish into the bin and must make sure the place is clean. Everyone has a responsibility to play. We must keep the place clean. I could say there was a little bit of wayang here. Well, Mr. Morgan himself is just like most other uh, managers where they are quite concerned when NEA comes and, and do their inspection. Do they do any cooking? No. No, no cooking. No, strictly no. Strictly no cooking. Okay, good. We can see that you know he's not only top. The work is also being done. The dormitories are quite clean. Cook house is also clean. Permal tanier ka dalam sotamunyarom. Sobre sotamunyarom. 
I do understand on uh, Mr. Morgan's uh, side of problem because he's one person. He, we, we can't expect him to be almost in every room most of the time. This top food all that, Bayam. Don't leave it open, lah. Huh? Remember, tell your friends all, lah. Huh? Understand, okay. huh? When you leave it open, the cockroaches will come. Will be a problem. It is not for us to be here all the time. So we need these managers to do their part. They are like our partners, not only for the dormitory, but also for the schools, the constructions. All right, thank okay. you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you for the time. Right. Mosquitoes don't, don't choose the skin color, don't choose, uh, oh, Singaporeans, I should bite Singaporeans. Uh, they just bite wherever it is that is convenient to them. Singaporean or foreigner, construction sites or homes, this is everyone's fight. In the next episode. Today we're gonna teach you about Aedes mosquitoes. Sometimes when we are talking, they will turn around. <laughs> Some of them just won't listen. <laughs>